Hello Divine Masculine. So this is going to be your reading for this week. So this is for Divine Masculines all around the world. This is a general reading. So we just want to see what the Divine Masculine, what's his current energy, what he's wanting, what's helping the Divine Masculine, what's his obstacles, his challenges, and the possible outcome. Okay, so we have the Ace of Pentacles. So this is about um, new beginnings. Starting something new within the um, 3D. Starting a new job. Starting a, um, a new path for yourself. With hopes. So you want to work, you're working very hard for this. I see that, um, you know, I did a reading earlier and this card popped up in the same position. So this is like, you know, you want this to happen. You're putting in a lot of effort, you know. Um, it's like you can't see the end, but the end is already, it, it's coming. It's, it's already here. This is a 10, the 10 of wands. And it's also an A, so you're starting to see the... Um, the effects, your hard work is starting to pay off for you, Divine Masculine. So, um, you did a lot of soul searching. I see that um, you're doing a lot of soul searching as well. And um, it's going to lead you to a higher path, a higher knowledge. You are um, awakening you know, in yourself and seeing things um, for the truth, for what they are. But I, but I also see that you're um, handling something. You're, you're handling two things with the two of pinnacles here. It's about um, two things you care about emotionally. And um, I'm seeing that you're trying to find balance between that. And um, the outcome is the Queen of Swords. And this is... Um, whether it's somebody in your life or this is just, you, you know, this card is re representing you. This is going to be a lot of truth coming to you, okay? It's like you're opening up and you're ready to, to hear some, some truth being spoken to you. It could be from your Divine Feminine, okay? So this is a flexible... And this card is in reverse. Okay, so this is, um, let me read you the protection message. When you or someone else becomes too rigid, you lose the access to growth and un an untrapped potential and find yourself in an and find yourself in an us version ver versus theme scenario loosen up open your mind and heart and see if a more flexible approach feels better rigidity will set you up for a fight where there are only losers and no winners. 
Could you find a way to bring about a result that is mutually beneficial? Meet in the middle. Spirit makes a great med mediator. Yeah, so this is like, you know, um, it's like you're hearing, it's, you know, with the Queen of Swords here as an outcome, you're hearing somebody's truth, you know, you're open to it. And, you know, with this energy here, it's like, kind of let your guard down as well. See, the Divine Feminine had this, um, like she was holding up her guard, like she needed something from the Divine Masculine, and she didn't want to let her guard down. Well, I see that you are letting your guard down. Um, with the, the Ten of Wands here, you know, it's like, you have it up, you want it up, but this is an end to this, because this is a 10, and a 10, a ten is um, an ending to a new beginning, and we have a new beginning starting to happen right now for you, Divine Masculine, and um, this is a gift from the universe, and you have worked hard for it with the soul searching, and you know, um, I do see you be being flexible and letting your guard down, and listening to the other side of the story because you really do care about this person So this message is coming through pretty strong in here because we have four major arcana cards. So this is about fairness as well with the justice. Your truth being spoken, your truth being heard, and it's more like it's being heard, okay, with the Queen of Swords. So, um... I mean, you're going to be the listener to it. So this is like... This is like a new journey, a new pathway. You're, you're, you're going on this new path with, with your Divine Feminine. I see that with the Queen of Cups here, you know. So we have the Page of Pentacles and the Ace of, of, of Pentacles. So this is like starting a new journey, a, a new path. Um, starting something new that is being offered to you, okay? And, uh, you know, with the, this flexible in reverse, it's almost like it's saying, you know, let your guard down with your divine feminine here. You know, see you have it up right here. And you can't see where you're going. But if you let it down with your divine feminine, okay, it's something that you do desire. It's something you desire. Um, so maybe you had it up for a little while with her. And now it's time to take the guard down and, um, you know, share some of your, your, your knowledge that you, um, manifested with the hermit and the justice. Speak some of that with her. Um, this is what's helping you. So, and I can see that you are going to be sharing with her your good karma that you have manifested divine masculine um so the tower comes in whenever something was built on a fossil foundation but i'm seeing that you're almost having to let something go You're, ha you're, you're going to have to let something go, Divine Masculine, and it's really challenging for you. Because it's almost impossible to balance, balance out two these two things that are happening. Or it, if you are balancing them out, 
it's still going to cause the tower to come down. So I'll just pull a clarifier for that. So this is the Knight of Wands. And this is about taking action, jumping right into something, just going right on into it. And uh, it's like, you know, you did you did do that. You 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 went right on into it. Um be careful for what you do jump into, okay? Um because this is in your challenge and position, so watch out what you jump into, because um, something's gonna happen. But it's gonna happen anyways, you know, because it is divine timing with the will of fortune. It's supposed to happen. Whatever it is, it's gonna. This is a blessing in disguise for you, divine masculine. I see you jumping right on into it and um, you're still trying to balance out something that it, it's not going to happen. I, I don't see it happening. Okay, I just don't see it happening. So what brings change? The truth brings change. Hearing things out, it brings change. The Wheel of Fortune, it's fate. Let's get a, a clarifier for it. So we have another night. So this is like getting together with your buddies almost. So we have two nights back to back. So this is like, maybe you might be hanging out with some of your friends or something as well. Um, maybe you're trying to um, hang out with, with your friends and your divine feminine, okay? And things aren't going right, you know? Um, Which is going to cause a tower to fall down. But it's a blessing in disguise. So you're hearing this truth and it's coming through and it, it's, bring, it's bringing changes. But it's also being, bringing stable ground security for you, Divine Masculine. This truth when it comes in. And then it comes back here, which is, you know, this new beginning that's happening. Okay, so... Let's get a message from uh, the angel for you. So it says this is the ear chakra. So this is, yeah, this is the advice is to just listen to your divine feminine. Listen to what she says. Because it is, it's, she's being truthful and um, this is, this is just fate. This is timing. This is, um, this is a start on your journey, on a path, okay? It's saying let your guard down as well. It says, notice messages that appear as sounds, music, or words from both external sources and within your mind. These messages are real answers to your prayers. Okay, Divine Masculine, if you um, need a reading, go ahead and just email me in the description below. Thank you.